Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I've got five drills that you can do with a partner to work on your passing and receiving. The first drill is the two touch box. So we've created two three by three squares about 15 to 20 feet apart from one another. And all we're doing is playing the ball into the box. Our partner has to control the ball with one touch and play it back with the second touch. But as you can see, we're playing pretty aggressive passes in there, not normal passes. So we're challenging that first touch. You have to keep the ball inside the square. If it goes out, your partner gets a point and you can play this first to five points to make it a little bit of a competition. The second drill is the directional touch. So this time we've placed two triangles about the same distance that we placed the two squares in drill one. And this time we're taking a directional first touch across our body. So taking our touch from one side of the cone to the other, then playing the pass with our second touch. So try and complete this one in two touches if you can, but we're trying to keep the ball on the move. In drill one, we were stopping the ball with our first touch. Now we're actually pushing it in the direction we want to go. So this is great when you have a defender pressuring you, you can use your first touch to go against their momentum and you can get away from them and create some space for yourself to make your next move. Make sure you get reps in both directions with this one so you're working on controlling and passing with both feet. Drill three is the reverse pass. So we're using the exact same setup as we used for drill two, and it's almost the same drill, but this time we've changed up the passing technique. So we're still taking that directional first touch across our body from one side of the cone to the other, but the passing technique is a reverse pass. So we're making it look like we're gonna hit it down that same side, but then we're hooking it back and almost using the laces to hit it to the opposite side. So this is a great way to stay deceptive and unpredictable with your passes. Once again, make sure you're getting reps with this one in each direction, so you're getting touches with both feet. Drill four is the aerial touch box. So once again, we're using boxes just like in drill one, but they're a lot further apart now. So you can modify this however you want with the space that you have. And we've made the boxes a little bit bigger. So it's a four by four square this time. So we're playing the ball in the air to our partner, trying to get it in that box. And then your partner has three touches. So they have one to control it, one to set it, and a third to return it back to your square. So you can do a point system as well for this one if your partner takes more than three touches or if the first touch goes outside the square, you can get a point, then you can play first to five points or whatever you would like. So great way to work on controlling the ball in the air. Make sure you just take it how it comes. So if it's coming to your chest, work on your chest control, work on your thigh control and get reps with both feet. Drill five is the touch ladder. So I've placed five cones down here. Each one is one step apart. You can add cones if you want. You can make the gaps bigger. You can make them smaller. Modify it however you would like, but you're just gonna work up and down with your partner taking two touches, one to take the ball across your body and the next to play the next pass through the gap in the ladder. So take the ball however it comes. Sometimes you might use the outside of the foot, use the inside of the foot, the sole. Just be creative with it and react to it. But this is a great way to work on that close, tight control because you're going to find yourself in these situations in a match where you're going to play one twos with a teammate in those tight spaces around defenders so you want to have a sharp first touch and be able to pass the ball with the correct weight over short distances so work back and forth you can go for 30 seconds you go for a minute or you can count each time you go up and back and try and do it without mistakes so there we go guys, five essential passing and receiving drills that you can do with a partner. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed today's training session and you want to take your first touch to the next level, check out Controller, my very own seven day first touch training program. The seven day program contains over 60 exercises to challenge your first touch in all different ways so you're more comfortable with your first touch. Check out the link in my description which will take you over to my website where you can get the program.